Logitech's new iPad keyboard and stylus review. The Apple 10th Gen iPad is a combination of new and old. This is particularly evident in its accessories. The iPad requires the older pencil, rather than the pencil used with other iPads, and necessitates the pricey Magic Keyboard Folio. Taking advantage of the previously existing disappointment, Logitech has created two new accessories for the 10th generation iPad, that outshine even Apple's products but come at a much lower price. The Crayon Stylus and Combo Touch Keyboard case are now on the market, while the USB-C port conveniently and built into the Crayon allows it to pair up with the tablet through the cable that comes along with it. Moreover, you also get to charge it with any normal USB-C lead. Additionally, there is no need to look elsewhere for a power switch and battery meter, since they are already presented right in the stylus itself something absent on the pencil itself. Unlike the Apple Pencil, the crayon has a flat, carpenter pencil design that stops it from rolling off surfaces, and its matte aluminum finish offers more grip than the glossy plastic on the pencil. Writing with the crayon is as smooth and responsive as the pencil, though it lacks the pressure sensitivity of Apple's stylus. Neither the Apple Pencil first generation nor the crayon offers an uncomplicated way of switching between scribble and deleting like the two-fold tap motion in the second gen Apple Pencil does. Keeping the crayon with the iPad without a separate device is also difficult for both models of the Apple Pencil and pairs from this as well. But Logitech solves this issue through its combo touch keyboard case, while Apple doesn't pay attention to it whatsoever. A matte screen protector alleviates this sense when writing with both types of style since there aren't any other softer nibs available. Comparing the Apple Pencil and the Logitech Crayon for 10th generation iPads, it's hard to think of a good reason to choose the former. The Crayon is more comfortable to hold simpler to connect and recharge, plus it costs less yet offers nearly identical writing functionality. These cases share a two-piece design, with a kickstand for the tablet and an attachable keyboard that can be taken apart whenever undesired to use. Logitech has superior features and its case safeguards better than Apple does. In addition, the kickstand boasts an array of usable angles. As an additional bonus, the combo touch is built with a loop so users can hold either Logitech's own crayon stylus or Apple's pencil in one place. Sadly enough, the Magic Keyboard portfolio doesn't have this spec and requires stowing the stylus away from the tablet. One difference between Logitech's product and Apple's, aside from the cost, is that Logitech's case around the iPad has a rubber border and an opening at the power button for the Touch ID sensor. Compared to Apple's back-attached case, this one offers much more security from impacts and falls, as it covers the whole iPad, including the sides. The Magic Keyboard Folio is simple to install and remove so it may be the preferred choice for those who are constantly changing cases. However, most people would benefit more from the additional protection of the Combo Touch. The Combo Touch has more defense than Apple's choice and is just marginally thicker than the Magic Keyboard Folio when shut, something that will go undetected in daily applications. Furthermore, Logitech's kickstand plan provides a broader scope of development than Apple's. It enables you to prop it up at angles ideal for writing or sketching. The Magic Keyboard Folio from Apple is only available in white with a soft touch climax that rapidly accumulates dust and dirt. Logitech offers a much lighter solution with a gray fabric-like feel that not only looks nicer but is also easier to clean and maintain. 